this video we're going to learn how to register for the train you can e-learning for those new learners now it's simple you go to our website train you can click on the e-learning tab and this will then direct you to our learning portal this is the one that you can see on the screen on the moment now existing learners can simply log in with their username and their password and if you're new simply scroll down and here will we get a bit of an introduction of items that you will need when you want to register with us now remember we uh, we don't know you we've never seen you and we need to verify that you are a real person that you actually exist so this is the first process that we're going to go through to get a valid verified e-learning profile on our, on our platform and once you have this approved very similar to our RICA process. Once you have that approved, you've got access to all our courses. You don't have to do that ever again. It's simply, I'm just going to click here on our create new account. That is the screen that you're going to get through. It's going to ask you what you want your username to be, the password, your email address, name, surname, the town or the city that you're currently staying in, country, um, yes we can see uh, we listed all the countries and yes we do accept all foreign students also cell phone number that will be for our south african number uh, otherwise our foreign learners just need to format it to the uh, local format uh, some personal detail about you that we again going to use for our CETA registration and if we get into the bottom, some copyright and legal uh, stuff is just to say that our work is the, you know, is the property of Train You Can. And uh, we have our copyright notice in there. Also certain things, you know, where people uh, misuse our platform or our WhatsApp or communication uh, groups to spam other learners. So it just tells you all your legal rights. And what we are allowed to do is, is pretty standard. Uh, our Poppy Act also just to, to let you know that we comply with the Poppy Act. And we do store some of your personal information online because of the CETA. The CETA is going to need your personal information. So that gets then carried over to the CETA into the, the SACWA in our LD database. And our pricing terms and also our accreditation letter click here and after you've done that you're going to get an email that you need to verify now that is the sim simply to make sure that you've entered the correct email address and if, if you if you don't have the correct email address then unfortunately you're not going to get any notifications from us so you need to, to verify that email simply open the email click on the link and that will then bring you down to our e-learning portal and you can see you've successfully created an account now we need to verify your identity so we're going to say learner authentication when i'm looking at this i'm also looking at our uh, rica process that we use for all our cell phones it's very similar to that again just an introduction to explain to us what it is um, profile again if you do if you want to change any of your profile detail you can do that here your id a copy of your id or your passport simply scan a copy and jpeg png or pdf and just upload a copy here where one of our admin staff will look at it and they will approve it now you will see immediately once they approve it here in this block will be a uh, uh, tick will appear in this block as soon as our accounts verified it face verification again we need to uh, make sure that it's your id and you don't complete it you know for someone else simple just hold the id book next to your face and take a selfie i'm sure we all know how to take facebook selfies take a selfie and that uh, picture you're just going to upload for us uh, in here proof of residence we're all familiar with that and if you don't have a municipal bill then you can also ask your parents your landlord to anyone else who stays with you to write a letter to confirm that you are staying there now if you do that just remember that we need a letter we need someone else to confirm that you're staying there so we need you and the other person's details on there 
full names, ID number, and contact details. So if they see it or, or our accounts want to phone that second person to confirm that you're staying there, that we, you know, we have all their details up here. So that can be a, a, a normal Word document or take a picture of a letter. It no need to be a formal letter. Learner agreement, again, you're going to go through the learner agreement and we're going to say here that we accept it. And we also, you know, comply with the Poppy Act. So we're also going to uh, agree there that, listen, our system will be sending you transactional emails, not marketing emails, but transactional emails. And that's, again, our process to explain it. So once you've uploaded all these things, and again, we want to see correction. So as soon as our accounts get it, they're going to approve it. And if you log in again, you're going to see these corrections on here. Uh, then you will see, you will get another email from us to say welcome and you automatically enrolled for our courses. So once you log in again, you will see our courses are there and you can click on any of them and start the learning process.